Hi friends, in this video we shall learn about speciation and the process of speciation from the lesson heredity and evolution. What is speciation? Speciation is the process of formation of a new genetically independent group of organisms called species through the course of evolution. The process of splitting of genetically homogeneous population into two or more populations that undergo genetic differentiation and eventually reproductive isolation is called speciation. You all understood children? It's a process of formation of a new genetically independent group of organisms called species through the course of evolution. The entire course of evolution depends upon the origin of new population or species that have greater adoptive efficiency than their ancestors. Speciation occurs in two ways, children. The first is transformation of old species into new species over time. And the second one, splitting of a single species into several, that is multiplication of species. These are the two ways in speciation. Then what are the causes of speciation, children? Or what are the causes for speciation? Speciation occurs as a result of several factors, children. The first is natural selection so you all know who is the father of natural selection children it is charles darwin charles darwin explained that different individuals in a species might develop specific distinct characteristics which are advantageous and affect the genetic makeup of the individual under such conditions these characteristics will be conserved and over time new species might be formed However, in this case, the essential aspect of this factor is that speciation occurs only when a single species splits into several species resulting in the multiplication of species. The second factor is genetic drift children. What is genetic drift? Genetic drift is the change in the allele frequencies or differences in a population as a result of sampling error while selecting from the alleles for the next generation from the gene pool of the current population. What is gene pool? A gene pool is a collection of all genes in a population. That can be any population children. It frogs in a pond, trees in a forest. A gene pool is, isn't a real place. It's an abstract idea or an imaginary collection. The next factor is Migration children. What is migration? So migration also plays an important role for formation of speciation. So number of species from a population migrate from one geographical region to another. The species might accumulate the characteristics which are different from that of a original population. You will understood children? So number of species from a population migrate from one geographical region to another geographical region which might accumulate to the characteristics which are different from the original population. Migration usually results in geographical isolation and ultimately leads to speciation. The next factor is chromosomal mutation children. So actually what is mutation? Any sudden change in the DNA structure of an individual is called mutation. Here chromosomal mutations have the potential to serve as or contribute for isolating mechanism children and the locking up and protection of a particularly favorable gene complement through a chromosomal mutation. So here chromosomal mutations also play an important role for formation of species. These mutations when preserved from one generation to another might result in the formation of new species. And the next is natural causes children. Sometimes natural events imposed by the environment like a river or a mountain range might also cause the separation of what once a continuous population is divided into two or small populations. These even results in geographical isolation of the incipient species followed by reproductive isolation leading to speciation. And the next one is reduction of gene pool. Speciation might also occur in the absence of some extrinsic physical barriers, children. This might be a reduced gene flow.
flow over a broad geographical range where individuals in the far east would have zero chance of mating with the individuals in the far western end of the range. Addition, if there are some selective mechanisms like genetic drift at the opposite ends of the range, the gene frequency would be altered and speciation would be ensured. You will understood children. So, these are the factors children. So, what are the factors which lead to speciation or formation of genetically independent groups of organisms? That is the first one is the natural selection. Second one is the genetic drift, gene pool, migration, chromosomal mutations, natural causes and reduction of gene flow. So, these are the some of the factors which help in formation of genetically independent groups that is called speciation then what is speciation process or how does speciation occur children classically speciation has been observed as a three-stage process children the first is isolation of population the second is divergence in traits or characters of separated population example mating system or habitat use and the third one reproductive isolation of population that maintains isolation when populations come into contact again that is secondary contact you all understood children first is the isolation of population second one is divergence in traits or characters and third one is reproductive isolation of population so these are the some of the causes for the process of speciation thank you